All right, thank you, Mr. Gui, for having us, a team of uh, senior financial analysts, to help you with understanding the uh, Australian dollar risk and what it faces ahead in the coming three months. Um, of course, it's very really important for MNC like you to hedge your exposure very carefully to make sure that uh, there's no negative impact that the firm will actually face. So uh, you can see over the past three years of our study that uh, the Australian dollar has actually depreciated accordingly every year after year against the US dollar. When we move on to some of our theory uh, analysis, we do see that actually between the Australian and the US economy, we do see a pound and pound in terms of the consumer price index. Uh, which then when we move on to historical spot rate, of course, it do reflects sentiments of market supply and demand of the Australian dollar more accurately. And now uh, when we move on to the relative PPP, of course, in 2016, you do see both, rate, both studies being a little bit closer due to the fact that uh, the Australian CPI back then was uh, 1.2. Two eight and the US CPI was 1.26 and of course when we move into 2018 they do spread up quite a fair bit because the margin between their interest rates uh, the inflation rates sorry are actually much wider all right when we move on to uh, the regression analysis we do take a look at the differential in uh, inflation rates between the two nations and of course we do expect uh, the uh, Australia to have a lower rate of inflation as compared to the US, US where we expect it to be about 2% inflation rate while the Australia we are looking at 1.4 will give birth to 0. not uh, negative 0.6 differential where we do expect the Australian dollar to actually appreciate against the USD. And of course when we move forward to the forward spread and the interest rate differential, we do see interest rate differential to be a wider spread as compared to the spreads of a forward rate. And uh, when we do further analysis into the next point of study, we do see that the uh, expected spot rate in which we use uncovered interest rate to study and to analyze, they do reflect very closely as to how the historical rates of the, the, the Australian and the US dollar do trade in the market very carefully. Uh, of course, when we do regression, we do take a look at uh, very closely in terms of the differential interest rates. Uh, where we expect the Fed funds rate to be actually about 2% as we go to the end of 2019 and of course the cash rate in Australia to be about 1% give us a differential of negative 1 where we do expect the Australian dollar to appreciate against the USD. For next point of studies, we do have my colleague here, Hong Jie, to take a look further into detail. So my part, I'll be talking about some forces that impact the supply and demand of foreign currency. First up, with US inflation rate uh, at 0.1% higher than US, it signifies that US goods are more expensive and this will result in a depreciation in Aussie dollars given the shift in the demand and supply curve. Um, next up, in our interest rate, we forecast that the interest rate will be the same in terms that uh, financial assets in US will you more than the financial assets in Australia and with that given the shift in the supply uh, curve to the left and the demand of foreign currency to the right we will see an appreciation in Aussie dollars. Uh, with a growth rate that is about 0.7% higher in US than Australia it signifies that there is an uh, that the aggregate demand is more than Australia in the US signifying that there will be inflationary pressures on the goods resulting in the price of US exports to increase and with that the supply of foreign currency should increase with an increase in imports and the decrease in the demand for foreign currency with allowing Aussie to strengthen against dollar. Um, in terms of the government intervention that impact the supply and demand, uh, it boils down to trade tariffs. So for our ex for a major exporter of the world, such as Australia, um, Australia is very happy given that um, they continue to sign a lot of FTA, free trade agreements, to allow trade liberalisation to increase uh, their producer surplus. However, on the other hand, in the US, Trump is very angry because with an increase in trade liberalisation, Trump thinks that it weakens the US. But, uh, is it, as a double-edged sword, with an increase in tariff, it actually increases the date weight loss in US. And this will actually uh, result in US uh, losing uh, quite a number of sales against uh, the US. 
And lastly, uh, with an expectation of the uh, RBA to cut inflation, uh, sorry, to cut interest rates, uh, you can um, expect Aussie to actually depreciate against the dollar given the decrease in the uh, returns. So all in all, um, we created this regression model to forecast our Aussie dollar rate. So given a 97.4% of the variations in the exchange rate explained by all these variables, uh, the theoretical study suggests that these uh, variables correlates to the exchange rate. However, given that the Aussie dollar statistically, uh, sorry, given that the variables are not statistically significant, we came up with another model with an R square of 84.41% and with a forecasted GDP at 2.072%, forecasted employment rate at 4.793%, and an 11% growth in tax revenue. We think and we forecast and we predict that Aussie dollar will be at one dollar equals to one point six five eight uh eight four based on our uh study. So next up we will have uh, Mark to share on this, some some of the news around the world. Right, thank you Hong Xie and thank you Wesley for going through the quantitative data. So for me I would like to go through some qualitative data regarding the uh forecast of the Australian dollar to US dollar and the factors which may affect it. So, I would like to start off with the trade war between US and China. Now, the US and China have been, the trade war has been fueling global economic slowdown, with President Trump stating that he does not believe that he needs a trade deal before the 2020 elections. He also believes that the uh, tariffs are good but beneficial for America, and that the market sentiment of the trade war is that the trade war will continue with bilateral relations, relationships between the two countries at its lowest point. Now, the reason we touch on this trade war is because of the Australian economic reliance of the, on the Chinese economy, which is the largest importer of Australian exports. It also makes up 40% of Australian mineral exports. And uh, the political outlook of the Australian economy is that markets Right, markets place the, 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 the chance of the RBA decreasing the, interest, the cash rate by 25 basis points at 82%. Now, the RBA is going to go from a new monetary easing perspective from a neutral perspective. As the consumer sentiment has fallen to a two-year low with inflation rate at 1.6%, down from 2.3% at the RBA's forecast. Now, with all that said, we would like to recommend that uh, with the Australian dollar depreciating that we predict, we, pre we hope, we would like to recommend that you buy Australian dollar forward contracts. Thank you very much.